Greetings everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Emerson Zero with me, Fianic Frosty, the model of Willata F Frost. And today I'm going to review about Willata F Frost version 10.0 beta 2 version 1. Okay, before I start the video, please subscribe my YouTube channel Emerson Zero to get more videos and that's about Willata F Frost and also other emulator as well. Okay, so firstly, you got the Willetter at Frost after you download from the GitHub. Okay, it will be going to release in today if you check it out in the GitHub. Okay, so here when you got the Willetter at Frost, so you must to install this, right? Okay, if you had the version of other Willetter like uh, Willetter Bionic the original so you had to uninstall that first if you do not as it tell uninstall them you the way letter at first cannot be installed so yeah you must uninstall it but i have installed it already so i don't have to complete this okay I have already installed it okay now open this okay I open the Willetter at first okay so after you complete install the Willetter so you you will add the containers menu right okay just click on this menu to set up the Box 64, yeah, the box 64 are in 0 0.3.4 as default. Yeah, there is nothing. Yeah, also, you can install the wine version. Well, I don't think it will work because I don't test it yet. Okay, so create a new container. So now select the screen size or the resolution. If you are using low in resolution, so you must use the 640 x 480 or the lower resolution. Or if you had a mid range, so just use this 800 x 600. But if you had a flagship device like me, so just use the 120 or 720p. Yeah. I cannot spell it full. Huh? because I'm not good in English okay to name Adreno if you had a snapdragon that has a tunip so you can choose tunip if you had a snapdragon that has not support by tunip so just use vortex if you had a Mali or any other GPU so just use VGL okay because I use the snapdragon egg gentle so I will use tunip Okay, so now set up the tunip version. Okay, there are four tunip here. So the first one is 24.1, 24.3, 24.0, and 24 and 25.1. Yeah, just a wrong spell. <laughs> okay, never mind. I set the 25.0 as a default tunip version because this version are much faster for JLPC. Okay, the DSVK. So the SVK version here. There are five. 0 0.96 for all the DS10 games. So it very required. So 1.7.2 especially for voltage driver. 1.10.3 also for voltage driver and also some games. 2.4.1.1 which is GP Lasings uh, is the default version because most game works with this which did the SVK and it works at very high performance and lastly the zero the 2.6.0 this is a GP Lasings version of 2.6 the latest one the SVK but I don't use this because People said that it is slower than all this, the 2.4.1, okay? 
Okay, done this. Okay, there's nothing here. Yeah, the setup is here. Native Windows for direct 3D, direct sound, native. Yeah, I think nothing here. Okay, so here in environment, yeah, the localization. Also, sadly, that I had to remove the white change, the white of you know, the other re localization for European because uh, due to a uh, limitation of the we later we later return for now. So I think Bruno must fix it as soon as possible so I can add it again. Okay, here is newly added the SVK configuration file. Here we have the optimization MX11 and performance FX11, which is the function. Okay, so here optimization is the default because it optimizes the performance. Yeah, well, it's stable. So the performance X11 is you want to use it for more performance so i just use optimus ok and mesa vk wsi present mailbox as default we have fifo relax but unfortunately immediate i had to remove it because also the limitation of military v10 yeah box 64 fpo mode for performance uh, one JST, one JS debug. Okay, but 64 AVS I set to one. And if you're playing the triple A games, it must be in two. But never mind, I will use one. Okay. Yeah, but 64 dynamic dirty to improve also performance like box 64 FPU mode. But if you're facing a performance hit, just remove this. Box T4, then narrate the T or set it to zero. Yeah, but I better set it to one, okay? Okay, here the TU debug. Also, we add the no FSDT from the RFA version. It's the function is it will improve the performance. So I enable the system for those who are having the problem when using the screen recording in Adreno 600 series. So it means if you are using screen recorder, uh, the game will lose a uh, sound. So that's why I set the system, but never mind, it doesn't affect the performance. Yeah, the drive there's nothing here okay so the firstly the box 64 preset at the original win letter 10 it has been set the image intermediate preset but i change it to compatibility yeah it's more stable than image than intermediate okay essential I'm selection Windows version Windows 7 or oh, the newly Windows Windows 10 Windows 11 yeah just use Windows 10 uh. okay processor affinity processor okay just use all CPU but if you had a uh, Mali so just choose only CPU CPU 4 5 6 and 7 if you had a Mali or Adreno 600 series but if you had a flagship, uh, a gen series, a gen series, so just use all instead. Okay, we done this and tap the right button. Okay, so here we run the container. Okay, here. Yeah.
here are the start menu that I have added. So the first one is the DirectX test. We have the chicken invaders for the draw test and cube map the default from the previous I mean the from the previous version it have been already cube map dolphin the hello trangel we have recently added as the direct x12 test to test the compatibility of direct x12 in the container so we have and another one is we have the spray map the fix yeah we got the the svk fix recently added fix far cry 3 and special fix font fix yeah from the old version and here the game fix we have the assassin creed 3 fix controller also work other game so just extract it into game folder okay another one is need for speed underground 2 fix uh, mhr performance fix or monster hunter rise put it in the game folder Obli oblivion fix fps for elder scroll oblivion rdr fix audio for reddit redemption rdr fix audio optional uh, registry for reddit redemption also resolve control for re7 for especially for resident evil 7 tomb raider tomb raider 9 mandatory ds direct as i am registry or i think i think here yeah okay gst gst fix yeah this is from previous version msvc at fix repack problem especially for the setup yeah just or be like that but it doesn't work for figure repack figure repack doesn't work in win later at all okay so 19.2 patch custom patch and con for ek patch scene put fix we have the 19.6 input control fix this is not recommended but i just put it who know it will work in some games okay fix unity game launch this mean a uh, unity single trading it will open another tfm install host may improve performance install media function media foundation fix compatibility install missing dll improve compatibility video patch install to game folder okay there's nothing here it's important here okay we have done this input brush install input brush and then launch input brush with this from previous version yeah add on apps yeah we just put the ng light from previous version also design or direct sound yeah optional yeah also from previous version yeah render with jl zing only so I have no idea for this option because this is work or not because it is doesn't work yeah I mean if it is doesn't work so just use the zinc 24.2.5 v10 so other than this I had nothing it so VJL also the VJL only 23.1.9 okay VKD 3d yeah I forgot to you know to back up the vkt 3d version into the github source code yeah but i think i will put it soon if i had a time so the yd 3d i just put the yd 3d 10.2 and yd 3d 9.22 yeah this is the newly added yeah we done here wrapper d3d actor 9 yeah this is newly added and also the dg voodoo from the rj prefix yeah we got the, a lot of dg voodoo it will work especially for all the games that uh, doesn't work with uh the direct vk and lastly a ds wrapper 
yeah i think here we have already done it install the regex june 2010 and install the svk and vp experimental also from the previous okay program we had the emulator dosbox 32 bit and dosbox 64 bit and then flash player to play flash games okay file manager we have the explorer plus plus fix to, to fix game launch and wine file manager and uh, windows file manager yeah for fast reading okay you can also change the default file manager so as default is the wfm or winlater file manager so you can change to explorer plus plus so we will test it okay Ten, ten, ten. yeah it will change <laughs> yeah it's magic right but sometimes it will broken also so if it broken just change the default file manager again okay so the games we have the one mine only because other games we have we actually ha already have it but i remove it because it have a virus inside it it have a uh, something like malware so to prevent any uh you know any virus so i just remove it okay yeah we have system tool direct x um mean the direct x di diagnostic but i don't know if it work or not and softman f5 task manager okay useful tools yeah we add the cd tools if game are from archive or RG, yeah this is important okay yeah sorry for blurring okay we have the any burn and bin to iso converter to extra in the game folder that contain a bin file okay image img2 iso converter just extract it in the game folder that contain img file okay we have the explorer suite tool to edit exe and resource hacker yeah these are from the aj prefix and i already created him yeah we have nothing seven zip internet explorer notepad windows media player and wordpad yeah this is from previous right and we have the registry a white selection yeah yeah i think there is nothing too much for i said for this yeah you just change it depends on your like compatibility of your games okay here this from the original we later we had the installer one gecko and one mono common prom computer or wfm registry editor task manager test direct 3d one configuration yeah okay that's all from today from today video okay do for also again don't forget to subscribe and to subscribe the emulsion zero youtube channel Okay, sorry again. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Emotion Zero to get more video about um, but we later have frost tests and other emulator as well, like such as uh, PS3 emulator and other emulator like that. Okay, that's all from today. See you on the next video. Bye bye and take care.